and we were going slow, but we hit a rock. Right, so this morning we are moving the boat from the anchorage where we checked in, which was near Turtle Cove Marina, and we're going over to the leeward cut side of Turks and Caicos. This has got pretty good protection over there, like actually pretty much the best protection in all the area. And so we're gonna go explore. There's a lot of things to do over there that we want to check out. We want to check out this marina that's supposedly really cheap and has resorts attached to it. We also want to see the iguanas on Little Water Island and do some snorkeling uh, at this pretty popular snorkeling spot. Turks and Caicos is supposed to have really good reefs and stuff. So we're gonna go do some snorkeling there at the Leeward Cut Reef. We also want to take a road trip over to North and Middle Caicos, but we have to figure out how to get there because there is no road from Providenciales to there. We also want to check out glowworms because apparently that's a thing. I don't know, but uh, it's happening soon. It's moon related. So we're gonna check out the glowworms that's just right in the area where we are going to be. So we get to stay at a Turks and Caicos Blue Haven Resort Marina for $40 a night because they have a broken dock that's not connected to land without power or water. People pay $875 a night at the cheapest rate to stay at this resort. So it's pretty cool. Let's go explore. Tonight, we are gonna go see the glowworms in the mangroves. After the full moon, they come out for about two to six days. For 45 minutes after the sunset, they you only see them for like a couple, a couple minutes or something, like 15 minutes. But it's the mating of the female to the males that causes the glowing. Sperm. So the sperm basically causes the glowing. So it's gonna be a kinky night, basically. <laughs> we'll see what we'll see. <laughs> On the sea. On the On sea. The sea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a beautiful beach. This is Little Water Key and it's just beautiful. No resorts. You can take day tours here, I think, if you don't have a boat. We are going to do a weekend exploration of North and Middle Caicos. So we are up at the crack of dawn. So we have, because we have a rental car, we want to use it all day. So we're, the rental car is meeting us at the dock, which is pretty cool, at North Caicos. 
and we're gonna run around there. North Caicos is not connected to Providenciales, so that's why we have to move. We could have taken a ferry, but it's like $55 round trip per person, and we have our own boat, so we're just gonna use our own boat and save 150 bucks or something like that. It's crazy. Uh, our friend Alexi on Beaufort is going to uh, funny boat with us. You ready to go? Or your boat's nice. Good morning! I'm excited to see the more remote places in Turks and Caicos. It'll be exciting to get out of, away from the crowds. I'm looking forward to seeing the caves and just the nature. I guess there's a blue hole inland to see and the beaches. The beaches look really pretty out there too. So. So we are motoring two hours north and trying to stay in the reef on the way there. And so we're not going to go on the outside. So we're, we probably won't see any whales. It's 6.30 a.m. and I think Kira's awake now, so let's go get her. Good morning, Kira. Good morning. <laughs> So it's 6.28 and we went out partying last night so I don't know how we survived getting up this early. We are on the move! So Alexi and I have been scoring free alcohol on this island. So we freaking love Turks and Caicos. The other day we were just hanging out on the dock, all these sport fishers were chilling, and this guy just comes up and offers us two cases of beer. Then yesterday we were just chilling, walking around, same dock actually, and a local comes up and gives us two gallons of rum punch. So I'd say we're doing okay. <laughs> yeah. Much better than paying $70 for in Stanley Key. Wow. All right, so we moved over here, but coming on the way in, this area just isn't really surveyed, and we were going slow, but we hit a rock. And we hit it harder than we would want to. I was slowing down, I thought I saw something in the water, we were slowing down, but we bumped, and I've already done a preliminary dive on it. We've got a crack. Somebody has hit, I mean, this boat's 20 years old, so it's got a history, right? This part of the keel had been damaged previously. Whoever fixed it used a very lightweight repair substance. It's like you could scratch it with your fingers. Last, when we hauled out two years ago, I found this really light fairing repair. And um, I sanded away a bunch of it and put epoxy and glass on top of it. Uh, so what cracked is the epoxy on top of what was still left has cracked and I'm gonna use the opportunity, it's not gonna sink us, it's part of the superficial, like the, the deep part of the keel. There's no real water ingress, but I don't want stuff to grow in there, and I don't want it to get worse over time or anything like that. So, I'm gonna take the opportunity to use uh, our underwater epoxy, and it'll be a learning situation. It's not an emergency right now. If we ever need to use this stuff in an emergency, it would be nice to have a little bit of experience with it. So. Uh, we're gonna go pick up the rental car in like 40 minutes. I'm gonna dive real quick, apply this, and then uh, we'll be good to go. So, always something. This stuff is super gooey. All right. Here's my two globs, and now I mix them together until they are uniform in color. It's very difficult to mix up. It's very thick stuff, but this is our deep green. No streaks or anything in it. And now I gotta go apply it underwater. It's, I don't want to get wet again. <laughs>
over here, our whole load of stuff. We always have to bring the baby seat with us. It's a pain in the butt, but that's what traveling with a baby is about, I guess. So I don't know what she was saying, but then the map is just Tokyo. Not Tokyo, Jap Japan. There's no GPS data for <laughs> anywhere over here. So the cards here are a hodgepodge of different things. I've rented three different vehicles and all three have been different. This one is a right-hand side drive car where the steering wheel is on the right, but it's like a Japanese car through and through. Like the audio assistant is Japanese. So that's fun. <laughs> Very, uh, not a horror movie at all. <laughs> <laughs> We are going between North Caicos and Middle Caicos right now. It doesn't look like a bridge, it looks it like was. a jetty. That was the bridge, oh, okay. like a jetty. And look how pretty the color of the water is amazing. Let's see if we go. So you've been buddy boating with us for a while. What's your name and where are you from? <laughs> yeah, and how wait, old are you? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I am Alexi and I'm 25 and I sailed down from uh, Canada, where are you from? the East Coast. From the Isle de la Madeleine, uh, Magdalen Islands. Yep. Cool. <laughs> East Coast how, Life. How big is your boat? 31 foot. Little monohull. Still, still floating. What's Good. Name? Where are you heading? Buffered. Buffered. Uh, I'm heading uh, same way as you are, same route. Trying to hide from hurricane season down to Barbados or Granada. We'll see where the wind takes us. We'll see if the boat still floats by then. A lot of people have missed Kelsey's joke of the day. We, uh, she did a joke of the day on the way down from Maryland to Miami. So, Kelsey, do you have a joke of the day? Why shouldn't you work at a can crushing company? Because it's so depressing. <laughs> do you get it? This one, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> so this is the National Park. <laughs> oh yeah, so this is the I see Bambara down there. Yeah. This is the road to Bambara. So yep. we're right. at the end of the island? No. Nope. We're at the end of the nice road though. Uh -huh. Depends how you see it. Yeah. <laughs> so there's North Caicos and this is Middle Caicos. That's where we are right now. at a Valentine's Day regatta, sailboat regatta at Bambara Beach. And the water's really pretty and there's fun music and food. And we thought it was gonna be empty, but this is a pleasant surprise, I guess. <laughs> Get set and go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, ah! Coming in third place, we have Kelsey! People are sailing their little boat. It's the next day and I need to go down and do a check to see how the epoxy set up underwater and if it kind of covered the crack. 
Uh, so let's do that now. Well, as you can see, it is definitely hardened and has covered the crack. There's a little line that you can see right here. That's just kind of a manufacturer's seam that's on both keels. But um, yeah, the crack is covered. It's not completely like smooth, so I might go down with the file some other day, but the visibility is quite poor and I just didn't want to hang out down there. So I'd say success. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it does over time, if stuff grows on it or if it stays there, but so far so good. I, I'm i not happy we hit a rock, but I, I'm glad that I got an opportunity to test out the underwater epoxy before it was an emergency situation. So, I think that's it for this video. We are back in Providenciales, we just motored over here from our time in North and Middle Caicos. It was fun. And um, we have a few days here, and it looks like there might be a weather window from here to middle of the Dominican Republic. Uh, who knows? It looks like a decent wind window, but there's like 10 foot swell, well, no, 12 foot swell that comes behind it. And uh, I am not looking forward to that. So we will cut our window short, which means, ah, we'll see. We'll, we'll talk about it in the next video. Thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.